just like uh, last time, we're going to uh, present a feature from React 16. So it's going to be uh, fun and easy, and hopefully uh, uh, most of you uh, will learn something new about it. So today I'm going to talk about error boundaries and real life. Uh, but I want to start with something else. If you've seen one of my talks lately, uh, I'm using a lot of horses in my slides. And recently I got a lot of complaints uh, from organizations who care about horses and horses' rights. And someone even told me that because I live in New Jersey, I, uh, it's against the law to laugh about horses. So I want to apologize if I uh, ever, you record this, yeah? If I uh, ever hurt someone by using horses in my slides. The truth is that I like horses. Uh, actually, uh, my mother was a horse, so I was raised by horses. This is a real picture of me. But yeah, so today we're not going to talk about horses. I'm going to use kids. Who like kids? Yeah, everyone likes kids. Yeah. All right, kids is cute. Kids are cute uh, when kids play together. They're cute, they're nice, they're happy. But there is a problem with kids, all right? Not everything perfect with kids. Kids get sick. Yeah, that's a non-issue. And when a kid gets sick, what, 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 are we, what are we doing with a, with a sick kid? We were trying to keep, keep him away, all right? So uh, let's, let's look at this fake graph. Ta ta take a second or two. Uh, what can we learn from this fake graph? Nothing, of course, because it's a fake graph. But um, sick kids, when they uh, get near healthy kids, they spread diseases. That's a fact. I mean, I like it, right? All of us like it. Kids are great. All right. So what can we do about this? Let's talk about uh, error boundaries in React. So I'm going to open a Visual Studio code. Yeah, and then uh, close it and open a real editor. <laughs> <laughs> Who's using Visual Studio code? Why? Why? A volunteer to tell me why he's using Visual Studio Code? Yes, please. Extensions. Excuse me? Extensions. Extensions. All right. Now, the real reason, another one, please. Someone? Everyone use Visual Studio Code and happy about it? You're not happy about it? It's fast. You know what's happened right now? I've got a free license of WebStorm, and you are not going to get it because all of you are happy with, with Visual Studio Code. So, Ilya, on the next meetup, we've got a raffle about free license. I'm not kidding. <laughs> if you're happy, stuck with it. All right, cool. I've got here a simple uh, React, uh, React app, all right? So, we talked about kids. Let's import some components. Can you see the code uh, up there? All right, cool. So, let's, let's import some pre-made component from the playground. Um, where I put it? Oh, no, no, no. Components, and I've got here my playground, and I'm going to import a slide, I'm going to import a pool, and I'm going to import a swing. And we're going to render them. Yeah, thank you. It's much better without a lot, I think. Yeah? Yeah, cool. So let's import those components. Pull, swing, slide, and back to the browser. We've got a playground. All right. Cool. Now let's uh, let's build a kid component. Straightforward. Nothing fancy. I'm going to create a class and not a pure component, and there is a reason. We we'll see it in a second. Uh, let's uh, render something. 
So it's going to be just, um, I don't know, an image tag. Let's take a boy or a girl. Girl, it's better. Girl, PNG. Yeah. So we've got a playground and we've got a kid. Let's try to render the kid inside, I don't know, um, near the swing. All right, but this kid is sick, which is, as we all agree, dangerous because it can, all the other healthy kids can catch his disease. So let's make this kid a sick kid. Um, let's do this. Let's implement a method, go away. And this go away method, we just let's put an error on our state. This set state. And if you see something wrong, let me know. It will save us some time. And let's say that if you want to, uh, to uh, when we click on the kid, we want him to go away, but instead it's throwing an error. For example, a real life example, all right? Have you ever tried to, to, uh, to click a real kid? No, try it. This, go away. All right, and let's do this. Let's say that if uh, this state error, we're going to uh, throw an error. Make sense? Let's give it a try. So if I click, I've got an error. All right, one more time, go away. No, I'm not going to go away. I'm going to throw an error. Cool? All right. In a real app, everything can happen. Dynamic data from the server. Things can happen. Errors can happen. Let's see how we deal with it with uh, React error boundaries. So going back to our app component, I'm going to create a component right here. Let's call, to, uh, call it a safe zone. And inside the safe zone, we've got a render, and we're going to return by default these props children. And we're going to implement uh, the new lifecycle method component did catch, and then we can catch an error. And we can catch some error information. Maybe we want to console log it or display it or whatever. All right. I'm going to create a null error on my state. This set state. And if there is an error, let's put it on the state. Make sense? If this state error, let's try to recover. Instead of returning this prop children, let's return Yeah, that's wrong. Let's just return a string error. All right? Take a look at this component. Very simple, straightforward, and it's going to be a wrapper component. Now I can come to my swing and I can wrap it with safe zone. Which means that I'm expecting 
that if an error will occur right here in the safe zone, the safe zone component that implemented the component did catch will be able to catch this error and render an alternative instead of my component. Right? Now, if we try to use it right now, it's not going to work. It's for a second, that's it. Because if you really want to, to, to test it, you need to build a production build. So let's take our app. Build it for production. And I'm going to use some HTTP server to serve this build. We've got a swing, we've got a sick kid, we want to click him to let him go away, and we solve the problem locally without crashing our app. All right? Cool? Nice. And of course, we just burned the entire, uh, the entire uh, uh, playground because you can never know, maybe someone already catch his disease and can spread it with them. This is React error boundaries. Like the rest of the new features in React and React in general, easy to use, straightforward, powerful, all right? Sometimes you just need to use it to, to write it down to see how easy it is. Before I will answer some questions, if you've got some uh, questions, I'd like to say that error boundaries is not instead of using Redux. Thank you very much. Um, this was me. I'm working at 500 Tech together with Ilya. Uh, we're doing front end. If you want to talk about front end, uh, come and talk with me. I've got a lot to tell you about front end, kids, and horses. Thank you very much. Why does it work only on production, not on development? I asked myself the same question, but then I realized that in development, uh, it's a good thing that it doesn't work because I can deal with, with errors. I want to deal with errors. Everything is predictable. If I want to test my fallback component, I can do it without actually throwing an error. I don't really need it. This feature is built for unexpected errors. If your application fails while you're developing, you can, you can fix it. If it fails while it's uh, online, it's a different territory. Makes sense to me. Okay. All right? Good. What is this info? Um, information about the error. I can... Well, yeah, we can try to do this. Let's console log the info just for you to set. And I create another build. Actually, I don't have to build, but I already did. And if we open the console, hopefully right here, you'll see the info. All right? Very, very useful component stack string that, uh, that, that you instantly can see what's the problem. Now, in this case, it's in T space in T. No, I'm, I mean, it's probably going to be helpful someday. But if you've got the arrow, you actually don't need it. You've got the entire stack right here. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you very much. Thanks so much.